So there's no doubt that looking cooler is the best way to instantly increase your passion for WoW. And sure, you could wait for the next time that you get a sick new upgrade, or you could just do what I do and use iMorph. So let me show you how to do that real quick. First of all, looking better isn't the only reason you'd want to start using iMorph. There are some practical gameplay implications, like making you or your pet easier to see, more distinguishable, so you can spot yourself out of a big stack of people and quickly be able to tell where your character is to avoid dangerous mechanics. Now, as for actually installing it, it's a pretty good idea to join the iMorph Discord. You can do that via this link here, or you could find it on the own core forum post by just Googling the word iMorph. The forum post is also usually updated with the most recent downloads, so you don't really need to join the Discord, but I highly recommend it. Mostly because of the community in there, they show off their sick morphs, which you can just copy and paste into a macro and run in your own game. After you find the most recent Wrath of Lich King download, it will contain three things after you extract the zip file. iMorph.dll. This is just a library file for all the commands, you don't need to actually do anything with this. A folder named iMorph. This is the iMorph add-on, and you just place this in your interface folder like you would any other add-on, and it simply allows the commands that you put into chat to work. It will also prevent you from saying the iMorph commands in-game so people won't know that you're using it. The last thing in there is run iMorph.exe. You just have to run this every time that you launch your game to inject the script into your client and allow iMorph to work. The first time that you run a new version of this, your computer's going to think it's a virus and you're going to have to allow it to bypass any antivirus mechanisms. And that's it. That's all you'll need to do until the Wrath of Lich King client is updated. Then the EXE will break and you'll just have to download the new up-to-date version, which sometimes takes some time to come out. However, you'll never need to update the iMorph add-on. You just download and extract the new version and run that EXE when you launch your game instead of the old one. You'll know that you'll need to update because whenever you run the outdated EXE, it'll give you a pop-up that looks like this and open the own core forum post in your browser. While many people are averse to using iMorph out of fear of being banned, it's really only the methods that iMorph uses to function that could trigger the warden to auto-ban you, and Blizzard has reverted bans triggered in this way in the past. Through all my years of being addicted to various morphing tools and methods, I've never even gotten so much as a warning. And although Blizzard's TOS enforcement for Classic is stronger than ever, you know that means literally nothing if you've ever been outside the Botanico. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, we can get into the fun stuff. You can change any item with dot item, and then the slot number for the item, and then the new item ID. You can find the slot number for your items using this handy image here, and you can find any item or spell ID by looking it up on Wowhead, and the number will be in the URL. Some super easy commands that I have memorized are dot race 1 through 11, which will change your race, dot gender, dot hair, dot face, dot skin. You can pretty much just 1 through 10 these. You can also swap spells with dot spell, space, the old spell ID, then space, the new spell ID. Dot disable SM will keep your morph while you're shapeshift in any druid forms or metamorphosis. Dot enchant one for your main hand and two for your offhand, and then the enchant ID is how you change the enchant of your weapon. I pretty much always use mongoose, which is 155, but you can find the other numbers in the hashtag enchant channel in the discord. You can change your character model by doing dot morph and then the model ID. 7550 is the Noggin Fogger skeleton, which I like to use a lot. If you don't want giant macros changing tons of item slots, then you can just use dot item set to put on an entire tier at once. For example, dot item set 820 through 835 are the Ulduar tiers for every class. I'm not going to show off absolutely all of my macros because I have way too many, but I've gotten pretty much all of them from the hashtag showcase channel in the iMorph Discord, which I highly, highly recommend you surf through all the way from the top because it has some incredible stuff in there that looks awesome. And I really appreciate the awesome community in there that contributes their mogs and morphs. And you should feel free to add your own, but I will show off some that I really like and use a lot.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Feel free to like and comment your favorite iMorph macro. Check out my other WoW videos here or my Diablo 4 videos here. If you'd like to donate to the channel or buy personal coaching from me, there's a buy me a coffee link in the description. Thanks again, guys. See you later.